back out here on another day of the Hyper Adobe build. Today's project is to hopefully finish up this cob and maybe work on some plaster. So you can see we've got these little gaps here. That's just because I knew I was gonna put a new roof on. Got some stuff in the back to take care of and kind of clean up our front here a little bit. This didn't have a proper overhang, so that's why we've kind of lost a lot of that cob. But it's all fixable, it's all just mud and dirt and stuff. And so yeah, first step today is to get a bunch of straw chopped, so that way we can start making some cob. So let's get to it. All right, so I've got most of our cob work done, filled up to the gap here. I had to patch up a few things, and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing about working with cob is like, even if it does get damaged, you just mix any batch and you throw some more on. I need to come in and work on this section here. What happened here is basically that water just kind of cascaded down and just took this whole section out. So I'm gonna dig this out, all the stuff that fell off. You can see though, like even these sections that did fall off, like they're still, you know, pretty solid as far as a, uh, you know, chunk of rock <laughs> goes. But yeah, this next time around, I'm gonna put some uh, scrap screen material on there to just kind of give that, that cop something to bite to. And yeah, we'll finish out the cob and then get another coat of plaster on here. This is our lime vat. And what this is, is hydrated type S lime that you can pick up at the big box stores. Um, I think right now it's like $22 for a 50 pound bag. This will hold around 250 pounds. And what we do with this is dump our powdered lime in here very carefully with mask and gloves and everything because the stuff is pretty noxious. And then we get a big two-handed drill mix it all up and just let it sit in this water. The longer it can sit in here, the better. So you wanna let it sit for at least two or three days before you use it. This has been in here for, I don't know, several months. And basically it's just kind of like a sourdough starter where as it gets low, you just add more lime and let it soak. And so it's, it's a ongoing process that can literally sit for years and years and years as long as it has water topped out over it because what that water does is prevent the CO2 from binding with the molecules in the lime, which is what causes it to harden up. This is a lime plaster that has been finished. Um, we used uh, cement plaster for our shop over there. I prefer cement over lime, but cannot use cement over dirt. You have to use lime over dirt. So for our little cob house, we are using lime plaster. So we're starting that plaster on this. Uh, you can see it's kind of in rough shape. Uh, just because we've had it uncovered for a year or so. So we got all the cob work done and now I'm getting on plaster. The idea here is that I'm just going to do a full coat of our rough coat again, just to have one solid continuous piece, uh, especially you can see back here where we've lost a lot of the plaster. 
you know, we don't need to do another rough coat over the entire thing, but it's not gonna hurt. And then once I get another rough coat on, we'll come back with a coat of uh, finished plaster. And hopefully I can get at least a rough coat done today. I don't know if y'all can see on camera, but there's all these little butterflies. There we are. Around. I always call these the water fairies because they only pop up when you spill water on the ground or water a tree or something. So no idea how they know <laughs> that we've got water on the ground, but they're kind of magical. Finished up the first coat of plaster and it is looking so good. I had just barely enough to get all the way around. But yeah, super happy with this. I did end up keeping the existing plaster here. I kind of tried to pull some off and it was on plenty good. So I'm gonna let this dry up and then we'll get on to the finished coat and the next steps of this project. But look how good this is looking. Super excited. It is so nice to finally see this building starting to look nice again and just become a beautiful piece on the property. It has been in halfway done state for so long that you just get used to it and it's nice now to see something pretty and beautiful every time I go down to camp. So we've got a lot more to do on this build. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see how the rest of this takes shape and you know I have a feeling you're going to. So if you want to learn more about Cobb and plaster and how to do those sort of things to make very inexpensive sturdy desert worthy shelters out of the dirt from your land we've got a video of our pump house full build queued up right now highly recommend you go check that out and we'll be coming to you next week with a new video thank you guys for watching go build something cool